Twista. And let's face it, if Daniel James' hand speed is half as fast as Twista's flow, he might prove to be a problem for Tyrell Fortune, who is ranked at number five in the heavyweight division. And now we welcome to the cage the American Predator, Daniel James. Daniel James turns 41 on New Year's Eve. John and I will have to wish him a happy birthday when we call Team Bellator versus Team Horizon from the Saitama Super Arena that night. But Daniel James returning to the Bellator MMA cage eight years after winning his pro debut in Bellator. Currently on a three fight win streak. As we mentioned, uh, has a lot of famous friends and is uh, definitely a, a fan favorite in these parts. And he is just a big, big fan. <laughs> Look at Daniel James as a good fighter. This is a guy that's been going over to Eastern Europe to get fights, and they don't bring you there to win. They want to beat you, and he has been putting up win after win after win. This man knows exactly where he's strong on the ground and he gets in the top position you are going to accept huge damage he is a handful and now set to make his way tyrell fortune 32 year old tyrell fortune 12 and 2 with one no contest as a pro all inside the bellator mma cage his nine stoppage wins in Bellator's heavyweight division and his eight knockout victories in heavyweight competition in Bellator, the most in divisional history. Hey, he's all about racking up impressive stats, but what he really has designs on is a shot at the heavyweight crowd. And we now know Ryan Bader will defend the heavyweight title against Fedor February 4th, Bellator MMA's debut on CBS. Absolutely, and this is Tyrell Fortune. And you see, there he goes being smart. Big looping shots the outside, but no, it's the uppercuts coming up the middle. And that's where his fight IQ is getting better and better. He used to just stay with those shots to the outside. Now he's doing the smart things. He's got an incredible wrestling background. He is a handful. This heavyweight matchup, when you look at it, it says six foot two for Ty Tyrell Fortune. Six foot six, 264 pounds for Daniel James, and he is cutting to that because he's walking to this cage at at least 275. Here is Michael C. Williams. Live on Showtime, Bellator MMA now features the heavyweight division scheduled for three five-minute rounds. We introduce first the blue corner at six foot six, weighing in 264.8 pounds. In his return to the Bellator cage, he brings 13 professional victories, six losses, one draw, hailing from Chicago, Illinois, presenting Daniel, the American Predator, James. And across the cage, his adversary, fighting out of the red corner, at six foot two, weighing in 257.2 pounds, ranked now at number five. His professional record includes 12 wins, two defeats, fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, by way of Portland, Oregon, introducing Tyrell Fortune. And the referee in charge, Rob Madrigal. Tyrell Fortune out of Arizona Combat Sports with five wins via first round TKO. Daniel, ready, Daniel ready, James out of Midwest Training Center, five first round finishes, including four KOs. The heavyweights getting ready to throw down. Six, six, cutting down from 280 pounds to make 265 is Daniel James. Hey, Tyrell Fortune, six, two, and as you mentioned, John, has the, the speed factor because of the size and the ability to use that lateral movement, but the American Predator just caught a kick, and he is looking to feed Tyrell Fortune some ferocious punches. And that is exactly what Daniel James does. Like he's got very good defensive wrestling. He's, he's spent a lot of his career working with Curtis Blades, 
on his wrestling and so his defensive wrestling is actually really good when he gets up against the cage. He puts a lot of weight on you. He makes you carry that weight. That's something that Tyrell has to be very cautious of. I don't want to carry this man's weight if he starts to put so much weight down on me. I want to break off and reestablish. Get to the single leg. Don't go to the double leg so you get stuck underneath. Well, for the American Predator, as my former over, broadcast over. partner, Boss Rudin, would so eloquently put it, just took one to the pills. Tyrell brings the knee up right here. Comes right up. Hits the top of the, the cup there. A little bit of a reaction from Daniel, but Daniel's a tough man. You got time. Shot to a uh, place that's anything but the toughest part of a man's anatomy, except for the cup is the only thing protecting him. And he, he took a nasty knee, but like you say, John, he came back to Bellator. He's here to earn a living for his family. And he's always wanted to compete in Bellator. He's been singing the praises of this promotion for a long time. And eight years after winning his debut, he's back against a guy who is number five in the rankings. Look, at this is a big chance. And like I said, Daniel James was, was fighting in Eastern European countries. And the takedown. That's what you want to see out of Tyrell Fortune. Put the big man on his back. Now his weight means nothing. And now start to posture and do some damage. Fortune, a two-time state wrestling champion in his home state, Arizona, and also an NCAA Division II national champion at Grand Canyon University. That's right, also a world team member. So he knows his wrestling. A man knows how to wrestle. And for Daniel James now sitting along the fence, maybe trying to find a way to use his ample size and girth to try to get back to his feet, use his hips, but Fortune right on top of him. Well, there's a little battle going on right here. That's, and, yep. you see how I was saying, Daniel James knows, I can't let him start to push me to one side or the other. I want to keep myself with my back on that cage and I want to post to get up. But right now you're seeing Tyrell Fortune taking and controlling that left leg that's not going to help in getting Daniel James back to his feet. Fortune also delivering shots to James' body, making the investment here in the first round, and James has to be careful with those elbows. going on two minutes left in the first round Tyrell needs to utilize his head right now use it as a third arm start to drive Daniel James to one side or the other fortune said something to the referee that he's grabbing inside of my glove continues to neutralize the left leg of James. It is incumbent upon Fortune to maximize this position and do damage on James along the fence. It's and that's the one thing you're not seeing. Tyrell is doing zero as far as damage in this. He is controlling, controlling. the position. But controlling the position is not scoring him any points. But not for long as he's trying to stay on James back to oh. snatches the rear naked choke. James needs to get that top hand off. Tyrell Fortune, one minute left, looking for that rear naked choke. Tyrell going more towards the palm to palm. He's grabbing hold of his fingers there. He has one submission win via RNC. It came back in August of 2019 against Rudy Shafroth. His I only stop. submission win, but he is on the verge of spoiling Daniel James' return to uh, Bellator. No, Daniel James has got that. He's, he is in, in control right now. He had that. Watch now he just went back to it. Fence. Nice job by Daniel James to turn inside. Good reversal by James, but he was holding on to the fence. And this is a bad position. And my underneath Daniel James. The reversal of fortune for James on Tyrell Fortune. Final seconds of the round. The Chicago crowd erupting. Wow, what a turnaround for Daniel James. And this is the difference. Look at, we have control and now we have damage.
Heavyweights delivering the drama. Tyrell Fortune was fishing for his second rear naked choke victory. And just like that, Daniel James turned things around and as you mentioned, John, delivered damage. The one criteria, effective aggression. Take a look when he goes to get up here. Now he loses the position and you see Tyrell Fortune getting that neck, but he remained calm. He is a guy who is a veteran of the sport. He eventually escapes this position and turns inside. Here he comes with a turn. That was a beautiful job of turning the position by Daniel James. And once he did, Morrow, he started posturing and delivering heavy shots. All right, guys, let's go. Daniel, you got some off The ebb and flow of mixed martial arts and really putting it on Tyrell Fortune back in the up, final up, moments up, up. of the first. Round two. James credited with landing 20 strikes in that opening round compared to just eight for Fortune. Fortune one for one in the takedown department. And John, your unofficial scorecard. Oh, he's out. That was a big shot. Cut by Fortune. Fortune is in trouble. You cannot have this guy hitting you like that. By James. Elbows to the back of the head, but it's over. Daniel James, the American Predator, just vanquished Tyrell Fortune. What a memorable return to Bellator for the hometown hero. Unbelievable job by Daniel James. That last 35 seconds of the first round gave, gave him a rejuvenated feel. He knew that he could do damage. Look at this shot. Big miss by Tyrell Fortune, but watch the right hand. Whoa. Up, undercut. And he is starch right there, frozen. Here's another angle. Watch the big time uppercut. Left hand misses, right hand on target. Hits the chin. You see that Fortune was frozen for a moment. He's able to actually catch himself going down, but in, unable to stop any of the damage once he hit the ground. The uppercut allows Daniel James to lower the boom, hey, knocking out Tyrell Fortune, sending Fortune to his, well, that's the second time that he has been, make it third time now that he's been stopped via former KO. First one to Timothy Johnson, so yes, in fact, the second knockout stoppage for Fortune, and the fortunes are rising for Daniel James. Listen, you heavyweights out there, I'm telling you right now, Daniel James is here, and Bellator, you better watch out. Daniel James putting the heavyweight division on notice. Let's make it official with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. 27 seconds into round number two by TKO. The winner, Chicago's very own Daniel, the American Predator, James. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your hometown man, Mr. Daniel James. Daniel, let's talk about that fight. He took you down in the first round, but you were able to keep him from doing any real damage to you. And when you finally get to the point where you fought off that choke and you turned the position, you opened up. How much did that give you as far as confidence going into the second round? Well, John, man, first off, thanks, Chicago. I love y'all so much. Like. Love you. Like, I can't even, but, but um, that first round, you know, we worked our game plan, and we knew that we wanted to get the guy to commit to a takedown. So we focused on a lot of uppercuts. This fight was going to be won by uppercut or from a ground to pound. I said that yesterday in our meeting. But today, when he put me in that choke, it been times that I said, you know what? He wasn't committed to that choke. And we big boys, I felt it. I, I felt myself blacking out. But I'm like a fish, I breathe underwater. 
You know what I'm saying? I call my second win. And it's showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. It's Chicago. Tell it. I'm telling you straight up. Let's keep it going, Chicago. I'm in the building. Make some fucking noise. It's not enough. Make some noise now. Let's go. You hit him. You missed with that big left hand, but that uppercut that you're talking about, it touched that chin perfectly. He was frozen going down. You jumped on top of him. You ended this fight. That was a fantastic finish. This is your second fight in the Bellator cage, but they came about 12 years apart, it seems like. But who is it that you, you just took out the number five guy with a big time win. Who is it you should be fighting the next time you step in here? Well, I am number five. I'm number five. Excuse me, but Scott, Scott Coker, I'm here, baby. You need some A. You need a pretty chocolate heavyweight. I'm here, let's go. Straight up, we got the market, we got everything. My hair long, I look good, I'm built nice. Let's go, I can fight, I'm number five. What's next, stop waiting. Let's go. Chicago, get on your feet and give it up for your man, the American Predator, Daniel James. One couldn't script a better scenario for the return of Daniel James to Bellator MMA. Eight years ago, he won his pro debut here in this cage, and now he returns and records the biggest win of his career, knocking off the number five ranked Tyrell Fortune.